Hello and welcome to the Giant Fish. Today we're going to make the famous, world famous, change the world one cookie at a time, Foothills Organic Chocolate Chip. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. We're going to string you along and that's probably the last recipe we'll give you. But we're going to give you a really great recipe. And this goes out to Ellen from Hummingbird in Eugene. Um, this recipe was taught to me by Chocolate Face, who was a friend of David Wolf's. And she came to the little, our little store in the middle of nowhere and said, hey, do you guys know anything about raw chocolate? And we said, absolutely not. And she made a big bowl for us and we all sat around and ate it and we couldn't even believe it. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need one cup of cacao butter, two cups of raw cacao powder, but it's not really raw. It's not processed cocoa. Don't use that, but it's, they call it raw. It's a long story. We'll tell you about it later. Um, some pecans, one cup of honey, and uh, you can add some other stuff to it. We have some maca, and, uh, or you can use uh, cacao nibs. These are really cool. And the first thing we're going to do is you can, what you have to do is heat the cacao butter. You can heat it over a fire about this far away, or you can heat it um, in the sun or you could heat it over a, paint, uh, a uh, stove with a double boiler. That's what we did. So we have this cacao butter. We just, you just want to heat it till it melts. That keeps its raw um, consistency. And uh, we'll wipe off the bottoms. So we heated one cup of raw cacao butter, or I mean cacao butter, and we're going to take, put that to the sides so you're not confused. We're going to take the two cups of cacao powder, and we're going to put it into the bowl. And we're going to stir it. Mm. You want to stir this till this is really stirred up well. Before we do our next step. So I'll stir faster. And faster. Okay. That's fast. And, um, and you want to mix it up, it's going to look like a fudge. And then, it's almost done. When I was taught this recipe, I was blown away. I couldn't believe, because I had made chocolate, I had a little chocolate company for a couple years with uh, Becky, and when chocolate showed us this, this, we said, wow, this is better than chocolate. It's so much better for you, and, and, um, and it tastes fantastic. You, you are completely going to be spoiled. And um, there's nothing bad about this. It's really great. Let's take the honey. We're going to pour the honey in. And mix that. You could also add vanilla and a little bit of salt. The salt kind of makes it puffy. So you can see the consistency now. It's so nice. And uh, we're going to add some pecans in it. And some cacao nibs. As, as usual, I measured nothing except the original parts of that ingredients. And then you just pour this over into a pan. Wait a second, I better taste it. <laughs> and then we're gonna smooth it out on the pan a little bit. And that is it, dudes and dudettes. That is simple, wasn't it? And you just take that, put that in the freezer, wait till it gets hard, pop it out, break it up, Keep it in the freezer, it'll stay like hard chocolate. Keep it in the refrigerator, it'll be fudgy. Keep it out, it will probably melt. <laughs> but uh, it's really easy and really wonderful and that was about as simple a thing as you could make. Thanks for watching the giant fish.